Um, and it's something that black Americans need to be educated about. Uh, and we are seeing that they are sort of replacing education with indoctrination. And if you are a black American and you go through the public school system like I went through, you come out and you are basically a propagandist for the left and you don't realize it. I started on the left, um, although I was not politically active, I believed um, in all of the indoctrination. I believed just four short years ago um, that Republicans were racist, that conservatives were racist, and that being a black person and being a woman disadvantaged me in life. And I'm a pretty smart person. Uh, these were things that I learned actively. It wasn't because I wanted uh, to be anti-American. It wasn't because I wanted to believe these things. It, be it was because it was taught to me uh, via the public school system. And we talk a lot about, uh, in my book, I talk a lot about education and how important it is uh, that conservatives wake up to the fact that we've lost the education battle with the left and what that allows Democrats to do when they have a handle on the school system. When we start talking about this 1619 project um, and what that really implies, if we continue to allow the Democrat Party to control education, we are guaranteeing them the future because the youth is the future. Is this one of the reasons why the Democrat Party, the big unions, even the NAACP and others oppose school choice, particularly in minority communities that would give children and their parents an opportunity to send their kids to schools other than the government facility down the street? That is absolutely correct. And in talking about education, you can't help but look at the fact that it's actually failing kids today. Um, I've spoken about various inner cities and the rates of illiteracy, which should astonish every single person in America. Uh, the fact that in California, 75% of black boys cannot pass a basic literacy exam. That is astounding. You will never hear Black Lives Matter talk about that. You will never hear a Democratic uh, candidate talk about that, and yet I'm talking about that. The fact that in Baltimore, across five schools, they couldn't find a single child that was proficient in reading and writing and math is astounding, and people should be talking about that. Again, going back to my thesis that what we're seeing is modernized um, techniques of the slavery plantation, what is the one thing black Americans were not allowed to do? Um, learn to read, learn to write. Uh, the punishment would have been severe for that. And the reason for that is simple. It's because an educated mind cannot be enslaved. And what we're seeing today, when we're seeing this, this dumbing down of the education system where kids are learning feelings and they're not learning facts, when they're not learning practical skills, they can tell you about their various oppressions. Um, it's problematic and it's something that we need to have a meaningful discussion about. And it needs to be more than a discussion. It needs to be action that is taken. And I do believe that this, this administration has taken those actions, which is why I'm proud to stand behind them.